Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News for the Best. Today we are going to Nigeria to look at the Nigerian presidential election, which is slated for 25th February 2023. In fact, the major people that are contesting this very election are Peter Obi, is from Labour Party, Bola Tinubu from APC, and Atiku Abubakar from PDP. They are all doing well with their campaigning, but a lot of issues are coming out of Nigeria pertaining to all of them. And all over Africa, Peter Obi is making great name for himself by his campaign and the way the youth are so much concerned about him, I really want him to rule them. But the question is, will he be able to get the vote needed to be able to rule Nigeria? And some of his critics are also arguing that Peter Obi may be a very good person as an individual, but his party is not having the structures in the Senate to be able to govern Nigeria. And Nigeria seems to be bigger than him. That is what some of his critics are saying. But some are also saying that, no, this shouldn't be the case. If Peter Obi is able to win this election, a lot can happen. He can easily bring on board other governors, some of whom are ready to support him, including one governor, Wiki, of River State, to be able to function well in governance and be able to perform well. And they even set an example of what happened in the case of Abraham Lincoln, who seems to be the father of democracy. After he won, he brought in even his opponent to help him to be able to function well in government. And though his tenure was not much in terms of years, he's able to make a great impact in USA. That is, his government was able to perform so well just because he was able to tap into the minds and the strength of other people, including his opponent, to be able to function well. So some are also arguing that if Peter Obi is able to win, he's likely to bring people from APC, PDP, to be able to govern Nigeria, and this is what Nigeria needs at this time. But some are also arguing that no, once you don't have any structure, you don't have any representation, taking decisions, even if you win, will be very difficult. Something like getting your budget approved and other things. But as an observer, everything is clear that Peter Obi is able to move from one party to the other and negotiate and get people on his side. And you can observe that some of the governors who do not even belong to the Labour Party are for him, but they are afraid now to show up. But it's likely possible that if he's able to win the national presidential election, they also come on board to support him. And the youth are all for him. Some of the old are also for him. That is about Peter Obi. Let's go to Bola, Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu also have been around for some time now. He worked for Lagos for so long. And he seems to have ground in, in Lagos. But one thing that is changing these days is, it seems there is some sort of division in his party. That is the APC. Because President Buhari is changing a lot of things these days, including the changing of the currency. And that is having negative effect, effect on his party and those that are for him. And could it be that God himself is sending division among them to confuse them so that Peter Obi can easily win? That is a question that remains unanswered. But a lot is happening and Buhari, who have been somehow down for some time now over the the seven years that they've been in office, seven to eight years that they've been in office, he's taking certain actions that are not all that in favor of Tinubu, but in the interest of the country. Something like getting rid of some vagabonds in some vagabonds in, in Lagos to be able to get things done well, introducing military into the system for them to know that, yes, things are going on well. And this change of currency is having negative effect on a lot of them. To the point that some governors are also even coming up from the APC are coming up to condemn and to stand against the president that he's not supposed to do A, B, C with regards to the changing of the currency. Now let's go to Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar is fairly okay. He's been in government. He was a vice president. But looking at him these days, it seems a lot of corruption, corruption allegations have been made against him. And this is also having a negative effect on him. Though he may have the strategies and the connection and the where would have to be able to perform well in the election, what will worry him is going to be the corruption allegations 
most of which he claimed that he was exonerated in the past. So you see no reason why people are still bringing it. But you know, human beings, once those things are thrown out there, those that will believe will believe. Those that will not believe will also not believe. So he has a lot of work to do. But sadly, the period that he's having to be able to correct those wrongs are very slim. Saturday, 25th February 2023, the election will be held. But let's see what Nigerians think about him after the election. But his feet, in a way, though some are also calling on Tinubu to step down because of his health, but he claimed that becoming a president of Nigeria is not something like contesting for a wrestling match. So fitness or whatever it is that people may want to be a major thing is not a major thing. Now, going forward, the structures, when you talk about structures concerning Peter Obi, can he easily bring people from all over Africa to be able to achieve something for Nigeria? That's the question Sam are also asking. That this is the time that Nigeria needs somebody that will be a bit neutral and bring all the best brains that are from Nigeria but living all over the world to be able to facilitate progress and development. And they have the view that if Nigeria is not able to make it this time with Peter Obi, the country is going to break a break completely. Now let's look on and see what happened. All eyes from everywhere are on Nigeria. They want to see what will come out of Nigeria. But all that we can say is we only wish them good and we wish them well. But one major thing about Africa election is it's difficult to have free and fair election. Because in as much as the government or the electoral commission may want the best for the country, there are a lot of people in those institutions that don't want the best. Some will be bribed and some will also be influenced because of their emotions and their clans. And one major thing to also touch on is Nigeria is based on religious groups. If I say religious, what I'm talking about is the Muslims and the Christians. And that will also affect the election in a way. But what some are also arguing is this. Though the APC is having both the running mates and the presidential candidate being Muslims, it's likely that that may not have a major effect on them. But some are also counter-arguing that that's a major effect because Nigeria is not for only Muslims, but for Christians as well. And the dominance is also there. So when you look at the two other parties, the PDP as well as the Labour Party, they have the presidential candidate either being a Muslim or a Christian so that they can neutralize that aspect also. Some are also arguing about based on a regional balance here and there. But this, I can project firmly that this very election, whether you are from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, is not going to matter much because the youth are weak and the people are weak. They are no more concerned about the regional balance or whatever it is, but they just want the best for Nigeria. But till then, let us see what will happen in Nigeria coming 25th February 2023. But we wish them well and we want the best for Nigeria and our eyes our Nigeria for the best because Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa. We wish them well and we'll come back here to discuss whatever comes out from the election. All the best. Thank you so much. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best. Thank you.